Hi everyone and welcome to another Make a Monday activity. Today we're going to make a beautiful lit up coral reef and this activity is inspired by this beautiful book. A is for Australian reefs. Now this book is full of gorgeous pictures of beautiful coral reefs and some of the amazing sea creatures that live in and at the bottom of the ocean floor. So let's take a look at the materials that we will need to make our very own coral reef. So for this activity, I'm using an egg carton to represent the bottom of the sea. Now I have painted mine blue, but you can paint it any color or you can just leave it natural. To make the coral, I'm going to use some electric tea lights, some colored tissue paper, and some elastic bands to sort of shape the tissue paper into some pretty coral uh, and sea grass. For my fish, I have just cut them out uh, some pictures out that I found online or you could cut out of a magazine or you could draw. I particularly love these fish because they kind of look like the ones in the book, especially these beautiful yellow ones here. But it's up to you. You can draw any kind of design and colours for your fish. And then I'm going to use a pipe cleaner to stick my fish to so that they kind of stand up above the coral. Now we're also going to need some sticky tape and a pair of scissors. All right, let's start with the coral. Now you can really do anything you want to create coral uh, using any colors. Uh, tissue paper is really versatile, so it is easy to shape. So it works really well, but you could use something like cellophane. I've got some spiky pink coral and some green sea grass that I've made. So to make the grass, all I've done is taken a folded piece of tissue paper this is the folded edge here. So we wanna cut on the opposite edge of the folded edge and just make some little slits into the tissue paper. And we're making sure we're not going all the way through to the fold. And then that will give us that really cool grassy effect. And then to secure it, I'm just taking one of my elastic bands and just sort of making it into a little bit of a circle. We can bunch it up at the bottom, give it a little bit of a twist, and then just use that elastic to secure it in place. Now, if you've got uh, small loom bands, those will work really well because you won't have to go around and around quite as much. So try and find the smallest elastic you can, or you could use sticky tape or glue or something similar just to hold that in place. So, now we've got some beautiful ocean grass to sit right on the bottom of our ocean scene. And then for my spiky coral, I've just taken a square or a rectangular piece of tissue paper, and then I'm kind of just twisting every corner. So twist it in to sort of look like a sharp piece of coral. Do the same on three of those corners. It doesn't have to be precise because each of my pieces of coral is going to be unique so it doesn't need to be perfect and then for this last corner I'll just twist it in a different direction fold it up a little bit so that will become the base of my coral let's make some more coral using our electric tea lights so for these I'm just going to cut a piece of tissue paper so that it fits over the top of the tea light. We can place it over the top and then secure this with an elastic band just on the base of the tea light. So you might have to just maneuver it a little bit. Now I don't want to cover the bottom of my tea light because I want to be able to turn this coral on and off. So we can just trim around. Just neatening it up a little bit. Just move the excess. And now when we switch our electric tea light on, we've got a shiny piece of coral. Now, just a quick word about safety with electric tea lights. Um, 
you want to make sure that when you're not using your coral reef, just make sure you keep the tea lights switched off. While electric tea lights are very safe, they may get a little bit hot if left on for too long. And with the tissue paper over the top, we want to make sure we're being extra safe. So make sure you switch it off uh, when you're not looking at or using your reef. And the electric tea lights are completely optional. Your reef will look beautiful without the lights if you don't have any at home. So let's pop this coral into our ocean floor and we can start to assemble. Let's pop some seagrass in as well in our beautiful tall coral. I'm going to make a couple more colored lit up corals and then we'll come back and we'll work on the fish. Okay, so our beautiful ocean scene is almost complete and it's looking pretty good here. We've got our light up coral. I've got my beautiful spiky colorful coral and my beautiful green seagrass as well. Now I've just popped them into my egg carton, uh, just placing them where I want them. But if you wanted to, you could glue them or put some sticky tape in there to make it extra secure. So the last thing that we need to do is add our beautiful tropical fish. So I've just trimmed my pipe cleaner down. So just cut one in half. And then what we're going to do is I've just used some scissors to just poke a couple of holes into the tall pointy bits of my egg carton. So just have an adult help you with that part. And then all we'll do is grab our sticky tape and then we'll just tape the pipe cleaner to the back of our fish. You can make it as short or as long as you'd like. There we go. And just thread that pipe cleaner through the hole that we've made in the egg carton. So our little fish look like they're swimming above all that beautiful coral. So we'll pop the other one in place. Now I'm just using a, a six pack uh, egg carton today, six eggs. So if you have a dozen or 12 egg carton, you can have an even longer coral reef and make lots and lots of fish swimming. All right, so my fish are in place. Let's hit the lights and see what this looks like when it glows. Wow, how beautiful does this coral reef scene look glowing in the dark? I'll just lift it slightly, just gently so you can see all of the details, all of that beautiful glowing coral, beautiful seagrass, and those beautiful tropical fish swimming through the ocean. Thanks so much for joining me for today's activity. Now our featured book today, A is for Australian Reefs, is one of the CBCA Book Week shortlisted books for 2023. And the Book Week fun starts here. So from the 7th to the 27th of August, you can come and visit us at Macquarie Regional Library, borrow any item and receive a free activity kit inspired by some of the fantastic titles on the Book Week list. So make sure you come and visit us in August and join us over the next few weeks here at Maker Monday as we take you through those activity kits, show you how to make these awesome crafts at home and take a little bit of a closer look at some of these amazing Book Week shortlisted titles. We hope to see you during August and we'll see you back here next week for another Maker Monday activity. See you then.